Welcome back to Red Business in Focus with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices, where we're meeting the entrepreneurs behind Cork's ambitious businesses every single week. And this week we're joined by Connor Hyde of Hyde Irish Whiskey. Today, Hyde Irish Whiskey exports 23 different Irish whiskey expressions to over 65 export markets. Connor is also going to talk to us about the Grad Start programme with local enterprise offices and how it supported business growth and development for them. Connor, you are very welcome and you have brought an abundance of gifts and things to explain about whiskey. We're going to get into all of that in just a minute. Good. But I've kind of given a very top line view there. Tell us a little bit more about the company. You have 30 seconds. What do you do? OK, what we do is uh, we're bonders. So we age whiskey in wood. So um, bonding whiskey is a very long tradition in Ireland where you take whiskey off the still that looks like this and you put it into wooden casks and it becomes beautiful, delicious whiskey after three years with the colour and that. So, so our, our tagline in our company is it's all about the wood because we, we look after the wood management. Right, okay. So, I mean, people just think whiskey is just, you know, a thing that magically happens, but there's a, there's a remarkable process. First thing, it comes out clear out of the still. Yeah, it comes out clear so it looks like vodka when it comes out of the still. A lot of people don't realise that that's whiskey when it comes off the still. So it's really undrinkable and not very pleasant. It's pochin, basically, when it comes off the still. But after three years in the cask, the whiskey moves in and out of the wood f every day as it gets warm and cold. And that process of the, the liquid moving in and out of the wood gives you that beautiful colour and taste that so you get. So does that mean the taste that we have in Irish whiskey is actually the taste of the wood? It is absolutely. 80% of the taste of any whiskey is as a result of the wood. Wow, okay. Yeah. I never so, knew that. Yeah, so uh, you, you, you can see that you have a long history in this yeah, as well. Long time and, doing it. Yeah, and, and you, you brought in this device here as well. Yeah, so, I didn't so, know so what it was. It's kind of a tap. Yeah, so anyone who's from West Cork would know our family as being the Hyde pub from outside Bandon in West Cork in Tinker's Cross. And um, for 10 generations, our family have been there since 1640 and we would have been well known for ageing and selling good whiskey in the pub. And this was a tap that would have been used. This is hundreds of years old, for, handed down to our, our family. But you would have had the wooden cask and you would have tapped the wooden cask with this with a mallet and literally poured the whiskey from the cask wow. and served it over the pub. So that's kind of straight, straight almost from, from the well. From the it? cask and, yeah. that, and that's the way it was done up to over 100 years ago. So the different types of whiskey that you have now, um, is that all down to different types of wood? And, and how do you decide Side, this is what we're going to go with this whiskey and this is the taste we're aiming for here. Well we started with one whiskey 10 years ago and uh, we intended to only have one or two whiskies but then as we went into new markets people asked for different wood types and different flavours so now we do rum cask, we do sherry cask, we do port cask, we do red wine cask so each cask has a different influence on the final whiskey taste so we, we, we source casks from all over the world and we put the whiskey into it and we get a different flavour result each time. And the, each market prefers a different flavour. So the French, for instance, love red wine uh, cask from France because they like to support the French. And uh, we'd, we'd use a German cask in Germany or we'd, uh, we'd often use an American cask for the American market. I mean, people think one size fits all. It, it really isn't the case. And yeah. I'd imagine your company wouldn't be half as innovative if it wasn't for the idea of someone coming to you going, I wonder what this cask would taste like. Exactly. So we, we'd get requests often for what are called single casks where somebody would come to us from a market in Greece and they'd say, we have a lovely red wine cask in Greece. Will you put your whiskey into it and age it in that cask to give us a unique unique Greek Irish whiskey taste and we do that. We do single casks as well as some of our mainstream lines with, uh, with uh, the bourbon cask. It's, it's fascinating. I have to say, I never thought about the process of making whiskey before, which is, I don't, that's a poor reflection of me or a poor reflection of whiskey makers. Yeah. Um, you did get, the, we mentioned the Grad Start programme. So yeah. what support did you get from the local enterprise office in relation to that? We're very thankful for the local enterprise uh, office supports they've given us. They've given us many supports over the years and since we started in 2014. But one of them was the Grad Start, where you hire a graduate from college and you get support of 50% of, the, of their, their wage over two years. Uh, so for a small company like us, it's crucially important for cash flow to be able to get that support from the local enterprise office. Otherwise, you couldn't, you couldn't hire a new graduate. One of the things, of course, when you hire a graduate like that, you're, you're taking a bit of a punt, but by the sounds of it, your graduate worked out really well for you. They did. Uh, so, so the graduate can do yeah, many different roles in the company when you're a small company, but we, we would have used them to do market research and uh, look into potential distribution into new markets and, and the day-to-day -day work that, that you can't do yourself when you're a small business. 
And when it comes to exporting and getting the product right around the world, you, you take every little bit of help that you can get. Yeah, every little bit. You, you've gotten some good support over the years. We've got great, I mean, we've had, you know, to help with our website, the Trade Online Voucher. We've had help with uh, grant aid towards marketing and going to trade shows abroad with the uh, TAME Voucher, the, the it's a technical assistance grant for small exporters. So that there's lots and lots of support from the local enterprise office if people just go talk to them. And, uh, and my view is if the grant aid is there, you should go seek it out and, and get it because they want to give it out. So it's up to us as businesses to go and hunt for it and, and ask them. You strike me as an artist, and it, I, I, I mean that as a compliment, <laughs> purely because the way you describe how you do it, even the presentation of the whiskey, you can see it there sitting on top of this beautiful stand. I mean, it, it, you're not just throwing it out in a box on a shelf here. Uh, th this for you is art. It is. I mean, the part of the presentation is everything when it comes to a good brand. So so how you look is how you're going to be perceived. So, so we, we source as much as we can in Ireland. For instance, those plinths that you see there, they're handmade by rustic wood up in Galway by a, a small little carpenter up there. So, um, and, and obviously we consider what we do with the wood is artistry. It, sometimes we describe what we do as taking uh, a blank canvas of, um, you know, fresh new make whiskey and using the wood to create something new and totally different. So, so we are a bit like the wood masters, we call ourselves. Well, it's it's <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much. Every day is a learning day uh, on Red Business and Focus, and this was definitely one of those. Um, I'll never look at other whiskies ever again without comparing them to yours. So thank you so much for coming thank in. What's the website if people want to look it up? Hidewhiskey.ie. Connor Hyde, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. That's it for this episode of Red Business and Focus. Join us next week when we're going to be getting stylish advice from Martina O'Cruley from Clonakilty. She's going to fill us in on the green success story that her salon has turned into. That's next time on Red Business in Focus with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices. <music>